Wouldn't it be cool if you could control your lights while you spin with Rekordbox DJ? Well, now you can. We're taking a quick look at the RB DMX1 from Pioneer DJ. It's a software and hardware package that lets you create custom light shows for songs and execute them automatically as you spin those tunes in Rekordbox DJ. Let's dive in starting off with the hardware. The RB DMX1 consists of a box that's got a USB jack for connecting to your laptop and an XLR socket for connecting to your DMX lighting. It ships with a license for Rekordbox DJ. You need to play your music through Rekordbox DJ in order to send light commands through the RBDMX1 and onto the connected lights. The RBDMX1 itself is made of metal and feels sturdy. It's got an LED light on it that glows blue when you've got it connected properly to your lights and it flashes when it isn't. Handy for troubleshooting in a dark club booth and rugged enough to be thrown in your DJ bag or rucksack. I've got a pair of 8 Lights Maxis connected to the RB DMX1 via an Ape Labs DMX Wi-Fi router, so I'm controlling these two lights wirelessly. Now let's take a look at the software. The RB DMX1 is meant to be used with Rekordbox DJ5, and that's because Rekordbox DJ5 has the new lighting mode feature, which is where you'll be configuring your lights and editing your light scenes. Rekordbox DJ5 also has a new phrase analysis feature, which basically divides the track into different song sections. You get intro and outro, up for buildups and parts with more high frequency sounds like hi-hats, down for quieter portions like breakdowns, and chorus for big drops, basically the hands in the air bits. This is important because this is how Rekordbox DJ determines what types of lighting scenes to run. And the cool thing is there are two methods for editing these scenes. Macro mapping, which is more like painting in broader brush strokes, and the macro editor, which lets you get more granular. We'll take a look at them later on in this video. So, here's a sample of how it works. Let's say you've got a track in your Rekordbox DJ library. You can right-click and choose Analyze to have Rekordbox DJ execute a phrase analysis, the results of which show up under the waveform over at the virtual decks. The icons and colors in the phrase analysis section show you what colors and which lights will be triggered. Now, remember that this is just Rekordbox DJ's automatic estimate of the lighting. Some DJs will be fine with it, but some DJs will want to be a bit more hands-on, and that's where the full power of lighting mode comes in. In lighting mode, you get three separate menus. Fixture library, macro mapping, and macro editor. Let's take a look at the fixture library. This is where you're able to assign the lights that you want to use with Rekordbox DJ. You need to connect them to the RB DMX1 via the XLR jack, and you need to specify which ones they are. There are hundreds of fixtures already in the library from popular and even unknown brands, though if you can't find yours, you can send Pioneer DJ a support ticket so that your lights can be included. So after you've added your lights, it's time to customize your light show. Clicking on the Macro Mapping tab brings up a new screen filled with icons. These are the lighting preset programs that Rekordbox DJ has, and you can quickly change the colors and intensity of your lighting effects here. The top half of the screen shows the 10 lighting phrases, which correspond to the phrases that Rekordbox generated during phrase analysis. Those song sections or phrases will each have their own lighting style, and you can change each lighting phrase or style by dragging a preset from the bottom called a scene and dropping it onto the phrase. You can filter out all of these lighting scenes and phrases according to mood and bank. The last tab in lighting mode is the macro editor. Think of it as a DAW for lighting. It lays down your tune on a timeline that goes from left to right, and you're able to program or script lighting commands by adding points and dragging them up and down. You can specify the intensity of the lights, when and where they turn on or turn off, the colors and color transitions if you want a smoother blend between hues, and even the intensity of the strobe effect, which is pretty perfect for buildups. The macro editor is the most powerful thing about Rekordbox DJ's lighting mode because it's here that you're really able to zero in on aspects of your light show down to subtle changes in the behavior of your lighting fixtures. However, this is also the part that's the most clunky at least at the time of this filming. Basic operations like playing back the track to see the lighting changes can be a chore as there doesn't seem to be keyboard shortcuts at the moment, plus clicking on the tiny play button isn't that responsive. 
Nothing that a few usability tweaks can't fix in a future update, but at the moment, it just takes away from what otherwise is a generally pain-free experience. Pioneer DJ was quick to hop on the automated lighting bandwagon, and that's a good thing because it's already laid the groundwork for DJs who want more power and customization over their lights. That speed is a double-edged sword, however. Uh, the macro editor could use a few usability tweaks that would make it easier to use and be more responsive, though that's to be expected with a version 1.0 of a product. And let's not forget that Rekordbox DJ itself was pretty buggy when it first came out a few years back, and at least Pioneer DJ was quick to squash those bugs. We're pretty sure that's gonna be the case with lighting mode as well as the updates roll in. If you're a mobile or club DJ who wants to take advantage of automated lighting and you use Rekordbox DJ, you may want to check it out. Just get ready to spend quite a bit of time finding your way around lighting mode and learning how to get your lights working with it the way you want to. So that's it for this short talk through of the RBDMX1. I've got the full review over at the Digital DJ Tips site. The link is in the description box below. Hit the thumbs up and like icons and share this video with your friends and even your online enemies. My name is Joey. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to see you next time.